So today I'm at the Wikiwachi Preserve Trail via Linda Peterson Park, which seems like it's kind of the same general park area that I was in yesterday, the Wikiwachi Preserve or Nature Preserve, whatever it's called, except this seems to be the entrance from the opposite end of the park that I was in yesterday. So as you can see, as I'm, as I'm about to show you here, it is a lot less developed than the part I was in yesterday. So I'm only about a quarter or half mile into the trail so far, and it's about seven miles total to the end and back. So um, I've, well, I've already heard a ton of anim little animals and whatnot moving around in the plants and everything around me, but I'm hoping to see at least something cool. I'm not sure if, I don't think it's going to be close to the Wikiwashi River or anything like that, so I'm not sure if we'll see any manatees or cool fish or anything like that, but hopefully there's going to be something exciting to see out here, so let's see. It's not the most exciting wildlife encounter ever, but I did just find this Nido Torpedo, huge yellow and red grasshopper. I'm assuming it's a grasshopper anyway. I certainly don't know what I'm talking about, but that is exotic looking. Now the first major, if not only, fork in the road here you can go either left or right. And according to the map on all trails, shout out to all trails, by the way. If I go straight slash right, that would be going to the those lakes and man-made hills and whatnot in the main preserve area where I was yesterday. And if I go left here, that stays on this particular trail. So gonna go this way. Since uh, I was already that way yesterday, at least a little bit, so we'll see if there's anything more exciting than yesterday over here. So I just saw a pack of probably five or six, at least that I saw, wild boars it looks like. Just up ahead here around this bend, I just saw them all coming out of the, the wooded area onto this path and they went on up ahead and didn't seem to notice me. Might be the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life, but I want to see if I can get a better look at them. I just missed him. There's another one that just came out. Oh, there he is. Turning around, not sure if that's a. If I should be worried. Oh man, it's so cool. Never seen a wild boar before. Oh, he is coming this way. Looks like he is going a little quickly, so I'm going to. Go in the still coming this way. I'm gonna go in the other direction now. So, in the interest of not getting mauled by a pack of wild boars, I decided to cut this hike a little short. And uh, the excuse I'm gonna tell myself is that it wasn't an overly exciting trail anyway. So, I'm kind of kind of disappointed I didn't get to finish, but I think I made it about. Halfway through the trail, so it'll probably be maybe a four mile round trip by the time I get back to the parking lot. So it was fun though. I'm uh, kind of hoping I don't come across another pack of wild boars when I walk back. We'll see. Anyway, that was that was a uh, that was pretty cool to see. Those things were not very far from me. Maybe I'm not sure if you can tell how far it is in the camera, but I would guess they were. 
at most 50 yards away. There was a few of I only got that one on camera, but before I got my camera out to film that guy, I saw at least five or six of them pop out of the woods and start strolling along the path. So not sure how many of them there were total, but I saw at least half a dozen. So that was exciting. First wild boars, first real wildlife aside from, you know, this tiny little baby lizards and, and small fish in the river that you see. So see if I can get a, see a, get a manatee sighting when I get back to the parking lot here, cause it's right next to the Weekiwachi river. So maybe that would be a good way to end this video. This is assuming I don't, don't have another wild boar running anyway. So we'll see what happens on the way back. So maybe half a mile from the, from the starting point now, nothing else exciting yet since those boars who did not follow me, which is good. Not that I would have expected them to, but it certainly wouldn't have been the most comforting thing that could have happened. So there seems to be a lot of birds chirping around here. I wonder if it's the time of day or something, but nothing exciting yet. So let's see if, uh, see if we can get anything in this last 10 minutes or so before we get back to the parking lot. Yep, trail seems to be just about done. So I remember having to go through this a little vine branch thing hanging over the path there when I was when I was coming in right after the start. So I guess that's about it for this one. So thank you everyone for watching. Hope the seeing that one wild boar from distance on camera was at least a little bit exciting. Definitely got I mean, my heart was, <laughs> my heart definitely uh, uh, jumped jumped a few beats per second up when I saw that. That was really exciting. Never seen a probably the the one of the cooler wild animals I've seen out in the woods before. In my uh, in my hike. So, hope it was fun. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, still trying to get to 10 million subscribers. So, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Be one of the first of 10 million plus. And hope you guys enjoyed. So. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next video, which I think will be High Falls State Park in middle Georgia.